In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. 16th Sunday in ordinary time invites us to reflect that the world, Jesus says, is like a field in which wheat and weeds grow side by side. The church is the same and so is each one of us. Each of us is a picture of good and evil. Let us turn to Christ who alone will help us to overcome the evil that is within us. Let us pause for a moment to take a look into the field of our lives to see what is growing in us. Lord, you came to teach us the difference between good and evil. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are patient with us when we do evil, and you will call us to repentance. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You teach us that the Heavenly Father is the final judge of people, and that He is lenient and merciful. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace, peace to people of good wealth. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. There is no God besides you, Lord, whose care is for all people, to whom you should prove that you have not judged unjustly. For your strength is the source of righteousness, and your sovereignty over all causes you to spare all. For you show your strength when people doubt the completeness of your power, and you rebuke any insolence among those who know it. Although you are sovereign in strength, you judge with mildness. And with great forbearance you govern us. For you have power to act whenever you choose. Through such words you have taught your people that the righteous must be kind. And you have filled your children with good hope because you give repentance for sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. 
Lord, you are good and forgiving. Lord, you are good and forgiving. You, O oh Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call on you. Give ear, O oh Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my cry of supplication. Lord, you are good and forgiving. All the nations you have made shall come and bow down before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things, you alone are God. Lord, you are good and forgiving. But you, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Turn to me and be gracious to me. Give your strength to your servant. Lord, you are good and forgiving. sisters, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But that very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. And God, who searches the heart, knows what is the mind of the Spirit because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus put before the crowds a parable. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to someone who sowed good seed in his field. But while everybody was asleep, an enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and then went away. So when the plants came up and bore a grain, then the weeds appeared as well, and the slaves of the householder came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where then did these weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. The slave said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? But he replied, No, for in gathering the weeds, you would uproot the wheat along with them. Let both of them grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time, I will tell the reapers, Collect the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned, but gather the wheat into my pot. Jesus put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all the seeds. But when it has grown, 
it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches he told them another parable the kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mix it in with the three measures of flour until all of it was leavened the gospel of the lord praise be lord of jesus christ The story is told of a wealthy farmer who hired a man to cut some wood and he negotiated for twenty dollars per hour. The hired man took the axe and began to cut the wood. But in a little while, the farmer looked through the window and noticed the man sitting in the shade and solemnly watching another man cut the wood. The surprised farmer went over and asked the man, why are you sitting here when I am paying you to cut the wood. How come you got somebody else to do the job for you? The man said, I hired him to cut the wood for me. Really? said the farmer. How much are you paying him? I am paying him $25 per hour answered the man. Don't you realize that I am paying you only $20 per hour, said the annoyed farmer. I know, said the man, but it is worth spending an extra $5 to be the boss for someone else. Sisters and brothers, it is probably a natural human tendency to crave for power, for authority, for status in life. And if we examine human history, we will notice that most commonly power and authority is expressed in domination in harshness and imposition of personal will on other people. However, the Book of Wisdom in our first reading today explains that true power is not exercised in domination and control, rather it is exercised in gentleness in patience and in mercy. Now our Christian faith clearly tells us that our God is a God of gentleness. Our God is a God of patience. Our God is a God of mercy. Jesus in his public ministry communicated that gentleness, that patience, and that mercy of God to all people without any exception. And he invited the people to imitate God in following those virtues. And this is a good teaching for our world today, which as Pope Francis would say, is becoming more and more indifferent 
and insensitive to the needs of the people, especially to the poor and the vulnerable. Unfortunately, even among those who consider themselves deeply religious, there is this lack of concern and sensitivity to others. Sisters and brothers, evil, injustice, and suffering has always been part of our human history. And it will probably be always part of our history. People in every generation have asked questions like, why do bad things happen to good people? Or why do good people suffer while those who are evil seem to prosper? Or if God is so good, why is there so much evil in the world? Jesus confronts these questions in today's gospel with the parable of the wheat and the weeds. Weeds indeed grow among the wheat and will continue to do so. It is not a sign of divine weakness but of God's patience and mercy. Good and evil will coexist and go commingle until the end of time, then every individual has to stand before the throne of God. Until then, we must continue to be faithful to being good despite the bad and evil in our world. Now, on another level of reflection, when we hear Jesus' parable of the wheat and weeds, we think of good people, that is the wheat, and the bad people, that is the weeds, coexisting in an imperfect world. But in fact, every individual possesses something of both good and evil. Every one of us possesses the ability to do compassionate and just things out of love. But there exists within us the same ability to do destructive things out of selfishness and greed. I am always reminded of that story of the Native American patriarch who often shared with his grandchildren stories of their ancestors that had a life lesson for them. On one occasion, the grandfather told his eager young listeners that every person has two wolves inside of them who are engaged in an ongoing struggle. One is the wolf of mercy and kindness. The other is the wolf of hatred and greed. Which wolf will win? Asked one of the grandsons of the elders. To which the grandfather replied, Whichever one we feed. Sisters and brothers, our discipleship calls us to recognize the struggle that exists within each of us and to nurture the wheat in us so that we may bear fruits of kindness, of patience, and mercy in our daily lives. We pray for that grace today. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, 
and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us now offer our petitions and prayers to our Heavenly Father. For all Christians, that the Church might be a place of unity, teaching us to be people of trust, firmly rooted in faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those struggling with insecurity, anxiety, a lack of purpose, or grief, that their Christian faith might provide solace, peace, and comfort. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who work to continue to provide essential services for us during this time of COVID-19, and in thanksgiving for their diligence and commitment, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those of our parish who are ill, especially Matilda de Francisco, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Katie Kachmerak, Bob Ramsby, Beverly God, and Patricia Lance, and all who are grieving the loss of a loved one, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the prayer intentions deep within our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, our Heavenly Father, in trust and in faith, we offer our personal petitions and prayers to you. Answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of your human hands, it will become our spiritual food. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, work of your human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy Church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering, 
we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so, with the angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, and with the, all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Gerard our Bishop and all the clergy, people whom you have gathered. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, Saint Kevin, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glory for you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, power and the glory are yours now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those Call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourished and endowed with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is entered. Thanks be to God. <laughs>